The other day I was thinking about the best employee I ever had. Why can't I find more like her? I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven. Imagine the characteristics you'd want for your ideal partner in your business. Imagine what a game-changing employee would look like. High level of consistent performance? Check. Work ethic? Check. Great attitude and fun to be around? Check. Good team player who inspires and elevates those around her? Check. Accountable, responsible, and reliable? Check. It took me almost 30 years to find her, and I hope she stays with me for many years to come. Her name is Heisenberg, and she's one of my cats. Her sister is Schrodinger, and she's no one's idea of a victim employee. If you're wondering, yep, they're named after the famous physicist. You either know or you don't. Both of them are approaching nine years of age. In human years, this makes them about 48. That was a peak professional age for me, so I'm thinking, why shouldn't that be a peak professional age for them? Heisenberg has always worked harder for what she has in life compared to Schrodinger. She has a much higher EQ than Schrodinger and is much more empathetic to the needs of her human companions. She also has a work ethic to die for. In fact, she has all the characteristics I've mentioned above. Her sister, not so much. I remember when it was time for Heisenberg to decide on her life's work. She was turning three, which is about 28 in human years. Heisenberg will tell anyone who will listen, it's only work if you do it just for the money or food and shelter in her case, but it's not work if it's your passion. Heisenberg and I both share a philosophy that the reason we exist on this earth is to make a difference and how you measure that is by the legacy you build and ultimately leave behind. Here's how we define legacy. Legacy is the impact you make on the people and cats you touch, multiplied by the number of people and cats that you touch. The impact can be for good or evil. Some go deep and make a big impact on a small number of people and cats, while others go broad and make a smaller impact on a larger number of people in cats. While I go broad, Heisenberg decided to make a big difference on an essential service that was focused primarily on the existence of her and her sister. After much contemplation and a couple of false starts, she decided to take responsibility for the security of her and her sister's food supply. Any cat with a high IQ will tell you that it doesn't matter how regularly they have been fed in the past. The past is not a predictor of the future, so you must plan for the risk and uncertainties of tomorrow. Both Heisenberg and Schrodinger have been fed three meals a day every day, with no exceptions since they joined me from the shelter when they were eight weeks old. But the past doesn't predict the future, so Heisenberg rose to the challenge and implemented a risk reduction program to safeguard the supply of their food. As head of food security, it is Heisenberg's job to ensure that only she and Schrodinger get access to food that is designated for them at specified feeding times. It would be a vast understatement to say she treats this awesome responsibility with a life and death earnestness. As she reminds me, it's not her job, it's her passion. Heisenberg works seven days a week and never asks for vacation PTO or sick leave. She works two shifts, morning and evening. She reports to work 45 minutes before the start of her shift. She takes her spot right next to the automatic food dispenser. She sits at attention on high alert for any potential interloper that might try to steal her food. Her head is on a swivel, surveying the area around the food dispenser, looking for any potential threats. I feel sorry for any creature that tries to access their food near feeding time. Don't let Heisenberg's sweetness fool you. She is as fierce as they come when her job demands it. When it is time for the food to come out, Heisenberg sweeps out the area 
in front of the feeding bowls to ensure that there are no threats lurking. And then she moves to the far side, allowing her sister to feed at the near bowl while she feeds at the other. She remains on alert until all the food is consumed by her and Schrodinger, which typically takes less than 30 seconds. I mean, why chance it by letting it lie around for one second more than is required? Her timing of when to come to work and when the food is delivered is more accurate than any atomic clock known to humankind. She works hard consistently. When not focused on her job, she is charming, playful, and considerate to everyone she encounters. She cares about her sister and the two humans she lets live in her house. She has never gone on strike and only expects reasonable compensation in the form of food, drink, and shelter. You know, the climate-controlled house and a box with a pillow in it to sleep. She has won the Employee of the Month Award for 60 months in a row or ever since it was established. Heisenberg always shows appreciation for the performance bonuses she earns, which at her request is paid in belly rubs. Then there is Schrodinger. She's gorgeous, a bit of a diva, and has narcissistic tendencies. She has gotten through life on her looks and attitude. You probably know people like that. She believes every other being exists to serve her. She's also a bit of a bully when it comes to getting what she wants, particularly when it involves her sister Heisenberg. Schrodinger has never won Employee of the Month award and frankly doesn't care if she ever will. Her goal is to do the minimum necessary to enable her to eat her portion of the food that Heisenberg selflessly guards. She is not always easy to manage as her attitude, coupled with her minimal production at work, makes her far from an ideal employee. But she's tolerated as it's not worth the effort to put her into a progressive discipline program and incur the associated coaching costs, all to avoid a wrongful termination lawsuit. I think she knows this. She doesn't hesitate to exploit the system. In any organization, there are far more Schrodinger's and Heisenberg's. In any reasonably sized workforce, the distribution of employees will mirror the working population that you recruit from. Schrodinger is in the fat part of the distribution of the bell curve, or average, while Heisenberg is a plus two sigma, which is the top 5%. Accepting the Schrodingers, but nurturing and cherishing the Heisenbergs is the way you get the best collective performance out of your organization. While I love them both, I wish Schrodinger would aspire to Heisenberg's level of performance. Well, at least a little bit. When you identify your Heisenberg, be sure you give frequent praise, rewards, and personal and professional development because there are not a lot of them. Without your high performers, at best you'll have an average organization, and at worst, a race to the bottom. Let me know who your Heisenbergs and Schrodinger's are and how you manage both. Consultants and other providers of expertise as a service lose too many sleepless nights worrying about where their future clients and revenues are going to come from. You've been told over and over that if you want more clients, you have to do more marketing, more networking, more LinkedIn outreach, more email blasts, and even hiring appointment setters to do more cold calling. What if instead you could get more clients by doing less marketing? Maven works with its clients to generate all the referrals they need to not only be fully booked, but to have a pipeline that takes the worry away on where their future business is coming from. Maven, the referral ability edge, do it with you advisory service takes you from random acts of marketing to powering your business with referrals and even all the way to becoming remarkably referable where you go from doing the work to a highly compensated CXO whisper. So email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to schedule an introductory call to learn more.